Hello, it is, it is July 17th, 2012 at five minutes past midnight. And I wanted to read you a part of an excellent report I found. It's called Birds, Bees, Birds, and Mankind, Destroying Nature by Electrosmog, and it's by Ulrich Warnke. And it's the effects of wireless communications technologies, a brochure series by the Competence Initiative for the Protection of Humanity, Environment, and Democracy. And it says brochure one. As near as I can tell, it was put out, the first edition was in November 2007. And I want to jump ahead to page 28. The whole report is wonderful. I'll put a link to it underneath the video so that you can read the whole thing. And let's see, 22. Let's use this arrow key. Here's this part right here. Whoops. Harp changes the natural diurnal variation of the magnetic fields. This is section 3.9.1, page 28. The information on the Harp project is thanks to, get, to Guy Kramer, USA. It was made available to me by Joris Everett, Belgium. Harp High Frequency Active Arroyo Research Project is the abbreviation for a military project of the U.S. Air Force and Navy. 180 towers have been erected in an uninhabited area near the city of Gakona in Alaska, together constituting an antenna complex. The frequency is about 2.5 to 10 megahertz, and the power is extremely high at 3 million watt. High power, high frequency phased array radio transmitter. This is the strongest technical transmitter on Earth. Its effectiveness is increased by linking the antenna array with another antenna array in Alaska via high pass, high power auroral stimulation. The transmitters communicate with submarines deep in the ocean and scan the horizon as a type of deep Earth radar. The frequencies are also absorbed by the ionosphere. They heat up certain layers, creating ion turbulences by day. They are modulated onto the earth that are modulated onto the earth magnetic field as unnatural magnetic fields. This masks the regular effects the sun has on the ionosphere. As such, the bees lose an orientation that served them for millions of years as a reliable indicator of the time of day, encoded in the regular ver variations of the magnetic field changes as the sun rises and the ionosphere temperature rises. The effects of the HARP transmitter activity should be further investigated, especially in Canada, the USA, and Europe, since the disappearance of the bees was first documented in precisely these countries. A casual relationship can no longer be excluded. The following simultaneous events tend to confirm this. In 2006, the increase of the transmitting power from 960,000 watt to four times that power, 3,600,000 watt, was approved for the first time. Exactly in this year, reports originated in all the scanned transmission regions of the disrupted homing ability of bees. Another disruptive effect may play a role. Though the irregular heating of the ionosphere, the air at great heights begins to glow with, with visible frequencies in the near-infrared region, region, 630 nanometers, and the associated magnetic field can be detected at the Earth's surface. Peterson et al. 2003, Rodriguez et al. 1998. Since the bees use not only the UV component of sunlight for orientation, but also the longer infrared wavelengths, Eldridge et al. 1979, Van der Glas 1977, the new light in the sky may also be a new disrupting stimulus for them, or to them. Section 3.10. 3 Disrupted NO system damages learning ability olfactory orientation and the immune system. In filing, we will further detail the significance of the NO system, the consequences of its disruption, in other experimental animals and particularly also in humans. The salient fact is that the NO system is affected by magnetic and electromagnetic oscillations and may be in the worst case becoming totally disrupted, finally destroying molecular functions. As in mammals, nitric oxide, NO, normally acts as a carrier of information in insects as well. 
the synthesis, the synthesis and excretion of NO is particularly high in the insect brain. In bees, NO plays a role in the ability to smell and in learning processes. Mueller, 1997. As proven in humans, if the NO system of bees is disrupted through the effect of te technical magnetic fields, they lose the ability to orientate themselves by smell and the vital learning program also becomes defunct. But since NO is our, also materially controls the immune system, disruptions in the you know, NO household always affect the immune deficiencies of the organism as well. Dennis Van Eaglestrop of the American Association of Professional Apiculturists, University of Pennsylvania, in his report on the investigation into the disappearance of bees says, we have never seen so many different viruses together. We also found fungi, flangelitis, and other microorganisms. This multi multiplicity of pathogens is confusing. It is also striking that the excretion organs of the bees are affected. Dennis Van Eaglestrup suspects that a weakened immune system may be behind the mysterious phenomenon. Van Eaglestrup, 2007. But he rightly asks, are these agents the causative stress factor or the consequences of a totally different stress? Diane Cox Foster, a member of the CCD working group, says, it is very alarming that the deaths are associated with symptoms that have never been described before. It appeared that the immune system of the animals had collapsed and some bees suffered from five or six infections simultaneously. But dyad bees are nowhere to be found. Spiegel, 12, 2007. The article um, goes on to, to talk how that works and it also talks about birds and, and the way they fly which is really interesting. And it also talks about the effects of um, the human, but humans also suffer from all these electromagnetic fields. Um, and it goes on to explain more how the NO, how that works, which <laughs> it's a little complicated, but in any case, it talks, um, it's very specific and it's also very general. And the whole thing is, quite formative. So there you have it. God bless you. And I, pro, I pray we would all learn these things and, and pass them on before we destroy that which the Lord has so graciously given us. God bless you all.